Hi, I, uh, I had a quiet moment and I thought maybe I'd just spend a minute making a quick video of using Quickly because I think Quickly is really easy and fun to use and a video seemed like maybe a good way to uh, spread it around a little. I also want to show how easy and fun it is to use Quickly uh, with CouchDB to persist your data in. So I thought maybe what might be just like a fun, quick little app to make would be just a little grid to hold information about my DVD collection because that, you know, has data and stuff. So let me start off by making an app. So I'm going to do quickly create, oops, maybe use the tab completion, Ubuntu project, and I'm going to name this just DVDs. That'll be the name decent name to start with. I'm going to hit enter and as that runs what it's doing is creating a stub project for me. And there's my project called DVDs. So let's see the menu seemed to work. Uh, get a little about box. Okay so now I'm ready to start uh, editing the application that was completed. So of course I need to switch to the DVDs directory and now I, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to edit that UI. So I'm going to use the command called quickly glade and that'll uh, run the program called glade and what glade is used for is editing UI. There's my new app in glade. So let's see, I don't want this big picture anymore. I don't want this and I don't want the status bar. I'm going to get rid of that too. What I'm trying to do is make some room in here where I'm going to put my, um, I'm going to use a control called CouchGrid. I'm going to little write some code to put CouchGrid in the middle there. Um, so why don't I just start with that? And so I'm going to save the changes that I made in Glade. And then I'm going to go back here to my command line. And I'm going to say quickly edit. And this will bring up my code uh, in gedit because that set is my preferred editor. Now I want to write a little code here to put a couch grid inside my window that I just created. So I'm going to go down to the finish in initializing function because I want to make the couch grid every time it starts. So the first thing I need for a couch grid is I need to give it a database name. And so I'm going to say that the database name is DVDs. And then I need to give it a record type that the grid's going to use. And for a record type, it's really a good idea to use a URL so that people can go and look online and see what the record type does. This is not like a you don't put up an XML schema or anything. Just maybe write um, write a little bit of English to other developers and say what it's for. So I haven't done that yet, but I'll probably just use the wiki at ubuntu.com and um, I'll just use that for the record type for now. So I said uh, wiki.ubuntu.com forward slash quickly forward slash DVs record. Um, and then I need to pick some uh, column names that I want to go in the grid. Uh, these will be uh, key part of key value pairs in CouchDB. So looking here at um, this DVD here, I see that there's a few interesting things like title. I'm just looking at a DVD here. I'm going to say year studio and f format. I think that's a good start. And then let's see. All I have to do now is create the couch grid. So I'm going to say self dot couch grid equals couch grid. And then just tell it to use the stuff. So it uses the bait database, the record type is the record type and oops is the record type and the keys are the keys 
Now, of course, I just realized doing that that I need to actually import the couch grid. So that's pretty easy to do. I'll just come up here and say. From desktop, from desktop couch, records, couch grid, import, couch grid. Okay. Good to have your stuff imported. So now where was I back to my back to my fish initializing function here. Let's see, I've created a couch grid. But there's a couple things that I need to do. Of course, I need to actually show, that I need the couch grid to show itself. You know, it's invisible by default. I also want it to be editable. So I'm going to say my couch grid dot editable is true. That's because I want to use it to actually input the, um, the data, not just display it. And then I just need to tell this window that it's builder find VBox one and then pack the um, couch grid in there. All right, I'm almost done, but I do need to do one more thing, which is to um, I need to append a row to the couch grid so that there's something there for the users to edit. So wrote my code, I created my couch grid. Now I should be able to just go and try out my app again. I'll do that by saying quickly run. There's my app. And I should be able to just start entering data. So my first one here I have is oops. Monty Python and the Holy Grail. In fact, this is my favorite movie ever. Looking here, let's see what year this was. Um, 1998. That's not right. You know what? I don't actually see the year here. I'm going to skip the year for now. And the studio is Python Monty. Pictures Limited. And the format is widescreen. I hit the enter key to commit that. Okay, so I've entered a movie. Now, let's see. I can't enter another movie. So I actually. Um, need to add a little more code to make it so I can enter more movies. So I'm going to close this window. Now it occurs to me, hmm, I added it. Did it really save it? I'm going to say quickly run. And then you can see that it was able to populate the data. The couch grid was able to pop populate the data for me automatically from the desktop couch database. Oops, and there's a little error there. Fix that. 